We're in Oklahoma City checking out the Oklahoma City Memorial and there is a wall along the outside where people can put all their memories of their of loved ones lost. Uh, there's also marathoning each year. A lot of people put their racing bibs on the fence. It's a very interesting memorial. I don't know how much video we'll take on the inside as it's uh, just something to witness and observe. But uh, we'll see. So uh, we are way behind schedule, but that's okay because we're at the Oklahoma City Memorial still. Uh, so much inside the museum to look at, uh, so much of the story to learn. But what is behind me is what's called the survivor tree. And this tree was standing before the bombing in the middle of a parking lot. For whatever reason, they kept one tree in the middle of the parking lot and it withstood the blast and kept growing. And in fact, the seedlings from it, uh, they've planted them all over the U.S., including on the White House lawn as well. The survivor tree, still going strong even after the blast. Now in the plaza then behind me, or in front of me now, hey. is what they have uh, created, the Memorial Plaza. It's got all the chairs. The chairs actually were where the building was. The water reflecting pool in the middle represents where the street was. And then there's two uh, two big memorials, two big walls on either side. One says 903, one says 901. The blast happened at 902, so it's a moment frozen in time. It's kind of what it represents, so I'll kind of give you the tour there. So there's the one archway. And there's the water and all the chairs down to the other archway. It's quite the experience. Definitely recommend you come out to Oklahoma City and catch this. Guys, what did we learn today? 